everyone and welcome back to another stitch tutorial from Instagram Creations. I'm Crystal. In this stitch tutorial we are going to take a look at the Paris stitch is what it's called or what I found it named under. I have found that sometimes certain stitches have a couple different names um, that they've adopted you know throughout the years. Um, just maybe based on you know what the pattern or the stitch looks like what it resembles that kind of thing um, so I'm not sure where this name came with the Paris stitch um, but it is such a simple stitch you know I love it when I come across something and I'm like oh that looks so nice I wonder how you know hard it is to do that um, and a lot of the time the stitches are really easy and it just incorporates um, some of your basic crochet is crochet stitches like single crochet and double crochet and half double crochet so in this particular video I do have a sample here I'm going to kind of show you um, so this is the that's what we want to look at the Paris stitch so it just uses um, double crochet and single crochet really straightforward um, not easy to you know grasp at all it's actually really super fun um, I am using a four millimeter hook today I do think that um, you know this particular stitch is best if it's you know done with a tight tension so that you don't get all it like big huge gaps in between so I wasn't entirely impressed with my first sample so we'll see how this um this one goes here with the color that I've now chosen to do for this tutorial which is just our purple as a kid this was one of my favorite colors definitely contrasts with my nail polish but that's okay so with the Paris stitch you need to do a chain in multiples of 18 plus one or sorry multiples of three plus one I had 18 in my head because I'm going to do 18 plus one so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then plus one. So we have nineteen. So to start with the first row, we are going to do we're going to work into the fourth chain from the hook so one two three sorry one two three four and we are going to insert a double crochet okay so that's going to be the first so now what we want to do is we want to skip two stitches or two chains i should say so we're going to skip two chains and we're going to go into the next one and we're going to do two double crochets so one, two, and then we are going to chain two. So one, two, and then we're going to put a single crochet into that very same stitch. Okay. And then once again, we're going to skip two stitches. And then in the next stitch, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to put two double crochets a chain two and then a single crochet so chain two and then we're going to put a single crochet into the stitch so once again we're going to skip two stitches and then do two double crochets and then a chain two and then a single crochet so I'm just going to pause the video here and just finish off till we get to the very end and I'll show you what to do in the last stitch. Okay, so we are just at the end here. So to finish off this um, first row, we are going to continue skipping two stitches and then we're just going to put two double crochets into the very last stitch. So there we go. And there's our first row. Kind of has this nice little edge on it um, but when we do our second row here you'll kind of see it come together 
Okay, so I'm going to do a chain three for the next row. And we are going to do a double crochet right into the bottom of that stitch there. Okay, so and then the next thing we're going to do is we're basically carrying on with the same pattern that we just did. So we're going to skip two stitches and then we're going to go, we're going to do two double crochets and a single crochet into the chain two space of our first round. So from this point on, we, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, we will be working in the chain two space. Okay, so I'm just going to show that again. So we're doing two double crochets into the chain two space from the previous round. We're going to chain two and then we're going to finish off with a single crochet. And we're just going to repeat, whoops, hitting, just going to repeat that process all the way across into that chain two space. And I'll show you what we have going on after we get this part. Not really sure. This yarn is very, I'm not sure what brand it is. It doesn't have a label on it. It's probably one that I got from marketplace but it's very thick it's almost hard to work with I like the softer yarns to work with okay so we're single okay so we are at the end so we do need so this first when we do our chain three that it actually is counted as our first double crochet so we will need to you to put two um double crochets into that first chain to finish off the row. Oops, I didn't go into it. It's always a little tricky to get your hook behind both of the threads. Just not working for me right now. Sorry, I'm not even in the screen. Oh, and then I forgot to yarn over. So when we do that, just so that we can have like a, a cleaner edge on the side there. But yeah, so now we have completed our two rows. So it's really kind of just a different design that um, incorporates into your project. So, I mean, this would work really well for blankets. Um, I think I am actually going to try doing one of the, um, the beanies or the hats that you do in a square um, with the, the band. So I think I'm gonna try to do this pattern. I think it would look pretty cool um, once you put it together into a hat. So I will definitely show you details on that. Um, but again, this is a great, um, stitch called the Paris stitch. I love how it looks. Um, and again, you know, it does kind of create, um, some, I think it looks when you lay it back, when you lay it down, it looks kind of neat. But yeah, so I hope you have enjoyed this stitch tutorial and I will be back again soon with another one. Have a great rest of your week and, a, and I hope your weekend is great. I will see you all real soon.